Take a deep breath, all you PC gamers out there. You're about to witness the most important title to arrive on the PC since Half-Life. Prepare yourself for a new breed of action game. Prepare yourself for pain. Max Payne, that is. He's the eponymous hero with the daft name and the pained expression. And this is quite possibly the most revolutionary gimmick ever to appear in a computer game. It's called Bullet Time. If you've ever seen The Matrix, you'll know what to expect. At any time during the game, hitting the predetermined Bullet Time key sends the game into slow motion. Suddenly, everything slows down, bullets drift by, leaving Trace awakes, and all you can hear is the deep thud of your own heartbeat as you fly through the air. Then, after a few seconds, the game resumes its normal speed. And it looks and plays beautifully. The only thing that doesn't slow down is your mouse controls crosshair. So you can fire your weapons in normal time while simultaneously performing slow motion acrobatics. Each room can be cleared in any number of ways. You can dive through a closed door, smash through a window or spring between two attackers. The idea is to dodge approaching bullets and fire your weapon at the same time. The realistic look of the game is made possible by some cutting-edge graphics technology called MaxFX. Using a hugely flexible 3D rendering engine, it allows for photo-digitized textures to be wrapped around the 3D models, a first in PC gaming. What about the story? Well, Payne starts out as an NYPD cop, but after the demise of his family, he's out for revenge. The story is split into chapters and episodes. Storyboard panels and classic film noir narration from Max carry the plot forward between chapters, which all adds to the film-like quality of the experience. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. The door slammed shut behind me, and then I was dodging bolts like raindrops. What also impresses are the cleverly designed game environments. Almost everything is destructible, but more importantly, it comes apart in a realistic way. The element of fun, though, lies in the details, such as fortuitously placed gas canisters, which you must either avoid or use to knock the wind out of your opponents. Although not suitable for younger gamers, Max Payne is a staggering achievement. And it's not just its virtuoso bullet time gameplay, seamless animation, accurate textures or design genius. This is a title that attempts to bridge the gap between what we expect from a movie and a game. For that accolade alone, Max Payne looks likely to be the most innovative game of the year.